Yes, so we will do that as well. Hello viewers, my name is Omar Wali and with me is uh, Dembo Jabate, famously known as D Jobs. He's a business, music business consultant and artist manager. He managed several musicians in the country, but last week there was an event uh, between him and Nyancho. But um, he's here to clear the, those things and many others. Nyanch um, D Jobs, yes. thank you so much. Um, welcome to this exclusive. That's right. Uh Omar, I am very happy to be here and I want to um, uh, thank everyone. I want to thank your followers that are watching. I also want to thank uh, my special fans and family members, uh, those that are in for the Dijos brand, you know, and of course the Nyancho brand, and also to um, convey my sincerest regards to all those people uh, that were with me since this happened, you know, people that were calling me to say, uh, you definitely have to calm down, take your time. I have spoken to so many people, you know, communication experts, uh, legal advisors, security men and women uh, regarding uh, that issue, <laughs> you know. Yeah, uh, like somebody was telling me, you know, he said uh, this was the highest drama ever in this country. But I think it's very normal also for um, things like this to happen because I've come to think of it, this is spotlight. Yeah, and then we are men and women from the spotlight. So it's very, very uh, normal for us to have issues on the spotlight. And if you make research, you would come to realize that across the group, there are so many problems that happen in industries. Um, Africa here, I remember the problem between uh, Jude Njisokoe and Cynthia Morgan, you know, Mede, the Peace Choir fell out, you know, for so many times that and so many 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 issues happen on the spotlight so i think people need to understand that and then of course the people that are involved in this field um, are also public figures they are bold faces in this country um it is not ordinary amadou jalos issue or problem you know uh, that nobody knows it's about djobs it's about nyancho and his team it's about nyancho a renowned artist in the country you know, it's about DJOPS, a music business consultant, a bigger individual in the country. So, um, so these problems are very, very, very normal. Just like how uh, we've been seeing, there's so many problems in, 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 in the political industry. So problems by nature are inevitable. Uh, that is why in organizational behavior, they taught us, you know, how to be very, very much careful, you know, and how to have whatever endurance in terms of problems. Um, how do we solve problems? Because conflicts are inevitable. They must come. That's right. Yeah, but, you know, when we have them, how do we control them? So I am very happy to be here. Uh, like I said, I definitely want to convey my sincerest gratitude uh, to my family members. Most importantly, my wife, Lady Jobs, who have been very strong by me, despite the tantrums and the unbearable sets from the music enthusiast. Fine. So, um, like you, you talk about, so many people know you, but people just wonder, who is D Jobs? That's right. Uh, Dijobs, a humble person uh, who was born in Fuladu Boraba on the 12th of May 1984 and grew up in Brikama, that's where I went to school. Uh, kindergarten nursing school, Kabafita primary school, Kindergarten Botrop, junior secondary school, Nusat High School, um, coupled with all the tertiary educations you know, that I um, had here. I, I read management and economics, public administration, mass communication, and business communication. You know, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, that, that is DJOPS, you know, and then um, a music business consultant, artist manager um, who have been in this industry for over 15 years because uh, I first got involved in the uh, Gambia's music industry in 2006. Uh, but then um, it wasn't until 2006 that I started, uh, you know, my career. You know, I would say, in fact, uh, I, I, I started my career with SD Brikama Boyo and then we met up in 2004 you know, uh, until in 2006 proper when we got involved in the industry because of Lenehan Society, you know, because I was a very active member of Lenehan Society, a youth activist, you know, and then we were miming songs of other artists. So through that, I became so interested uh, to be involved, to be a music businessman. So, um, yeah, you know, from there, that's it. You know, I first worked with ST, Brikamo Boyo, and this was from 2008. You know, um, officially, because I, I also got that letter here yeah. because uh, uh, there is one of us who spewed tantrums on me 
regarding this issue and the person went further to say uh d jobs in fact was never a estate manager he was a friendly uh, you know he was a friendly service okay. you know a brother to st so okay. i in fact had to snap these documents and send them to that brother you know but then I, I don't i'm not here exactly yeah. you know to be so much sentimental about this issue but then uh, briefly that's the jobs i started my career with st um until in 2017 when we definitely ended terms i also uh, got into Jolo Arts uh, uh, Entertainment, the biggest record label in the Gambia, when Solso requested my service. Uh, yes, I was there as the operations manager of the record label from 2018 to 2020. Okay. Yes, yes. So let's talk about the, you know, you met up with Nyancho at Jolo Arts and so on. Yeah. Can, you, can you shed light on that? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I met Nyancho in Jolo Arts. Uh, something that I appreciate a lot because uh, before meeting Nyancho in Joel of Arts, uh, Nyancho has been an artist that I love so much. And I want to state this in Capital Medics, Umar Wadi. Um, the way I was representing Nyancho yesterday is the same way that I will represent him today and tomorrow. Uh, I met him in Joel of Arts Entertainment with other artists uh, that I met. I think uh, there were close to 10 artists. Okay. Uh, Joel of Arts at that level uh, became the biggest, you know, in terms of the artists that they endorse. So a greater challenge for me, but then I appreciated and I took it. I said, Saul, I will come here because I've seen renowned artists and I've seen the likes of Nyancho, Sambu Suso. You know, I said, look, I mean, potential artists, the likes of uh, Plyas Bad Boy from Banjul, M. Sindanan. In fact, the baddest manager title came from Plyas and M. Sindanan. You know, they were a duo, you know, called the City Stars. Mad Snakes, you know, Dave Ndau, and all these vibrant artists. So I said, I will definitely do this with you, Saul. Uh, despite the fact that I took a leave and then I did not, in fact, want to uh, be involved in whatever music business because I, I had to take a leave to go and complete my program in public administration. So I said, Saul, coupling that with this is definitely going to be difficult. But then I will take this because of the caliber of artists that I met here. So, <laughs> yeah. And then I, oh, I, I saw Nyancho, I said, yeah, this guy has been has so much potentials. And I feel if he has all the necessary support, he would definitely exit this level. Yeah. So that's how we met. And so, we, we stayed there for two years. Yeah. yeah I and Nyancho, we all signed uh, same contract for two years. And then my contract ended in August, I think first week of August. No, no, in July 2020 for Joel of Arts. So I tendered my letter of alert to Solso. Um, in August, you know, 2020, okay. to, you know, remind him that, okay, my contract has ended and I want to go, that on the 10th of August, 2020, mm -hmm. uh, was the uh, the date I submitted this letter to Joel of Arts Entertainment. Mm -hmm. You can see the content. Mm -hmm. And then there is no indication here that I had a problem in Joel of Arts and I had some other people say that. I don't have any monetary problems in Joel of Arts. I don't have any personal problems in Joel of Arts. The relationship that I have with Soul so is cordial and it will continue to be cordial, you know, for the rest of our lives. Because I understand very well what Saul has done for Gambians. You know, I understand very well um, how he has devoted his, his time for Gambians. So basically, my contract ended there and I notified him, you know, about that. You know, yeah, so we, we, we ended terms peacefully. We will come to some of those things. But yeah. now let's talk about the rebranding mission, the events and the tours and so on. That's right. Uh, I signed up another contract with Nyancho on the 18th of August, 2020. That was after tendering my letter to Sol So. And this was a process. Nyancho was the one that called me and said, bro, I noticed you also, you know, ended terms with Jolo uh, but I still feel we should work uh, because of your expertise, your knowledge and experience. I said, no problems is very very normal because you are also somebody who i have higher flyers for uh you are somebody who is very very smart you have all the potentials uh to excel and i feel you should be more than this level because what you do is definitely incomparable i told him you are the only complete artist in this country you are the choreographer you are the dancer you are the rapper you are the singer you know so we all joke about this you know and then he was like oh you know you know, because we have a jovial aspect, you know, yeah. Nyancho is somebody full of life. So we met up uh, first on Kairaba Avenue 
um, he came with Sajo and Lena Nyan, I fully remember. Uh, we stood there and then he gave proper introduction to Sajo and Lena about me and told Sajo that d is the one that I want to bring, you know, because this is his area. You know, he is the most knowledgeable in the industry and I feel um, if he becomes my manager, it's definitely going to pay off. So I said, okay, no problem. It's on verbatim. It has to be on paper. Said, you will give me time for me to prepare myself and then come up with a contract that we are going to sign. And I said, okay, no problem. We will also go uh, keep our calm somewhere and then later on we would definitely look forward to hearing from you, brother. I said, okay. So I went, I prepared the first contract, the first draft. I called them, they all came up, we met. You know, we perused through the contract. I gave it to them for them to go with it, you know, and then study it for some time. Mm -hmm. In fact, I asked them, um, you know, wh wh how do you want us to do it? I mean, the timeline. Do you want to go for some several days, yeah. you know, to come back to me? Or you want to go for weeks and months mm -hmm. just for you to study the contract properly? Yeah. Because contract issues are very sensitive, okay. you know, and you cannot just jump into agreements without studying you know, agreements properly, you know. So, uh, yeah, they said, okay, this is very professional. We will go with it, you know, study it and come back. I gave it to them. They went. They came back after four days. You know, Nyancho called to say, bro, we studied the contract and we want to come. They came. We discussed. We did some nullifications mm -hmm. based on distinctive ideas. Okay. You know, how they see that, set, you know, some uh, uh, certain captions or certain sections or portions should be changed. You know, they came up with their ideas. I also put up my idea, you know, and then you know, we collide together, ideas peacefully. And then I said, okay, you know, you want these nullifications. That's why we call it draft, you know, stages, processes. So I said, okay, you will go with this again. Study it properly and come back. Okay. They went. Can quench your yes, test. Exactly, I must. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even though I would have preferred my, my, my favorite drink, okay. locus it energy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I said, you know, you go with it, study it and come back. And then they went, they did their individual studies. Okay. You know, Nyancho, Sajo, and the rest of the team. Mm -hmm. They came back. By then, I also brought in so many portfolios yes. because i understand very well that i am also going to build my team now there comes a very important question how do i build my team you know i will build my team based on ethics in management based on the books that i've studied in management based on management principles the theories of management theorist so i understand very well the choreographic nature of Nyancho. Mm -hmm. And I said, we definitely need to have a lead dancer mm -hmm. and choreographer. Mm -hmm. So when they came for the final adaptation, Nyancho called me aside and said, bro, I have this in mind. I want Salman Bari. He has been my earlier team contemporary. Yeah. Uh, my own genio that I have groomed since those days of JJC. And he has done a lot by me. I want him to be involved. I want him to be given a portfolio. I said, don't worry. There's a portfolio that I've created because of your choreographic nature. I said, there is this portfolio called lead dancer and choreographer. So we all laugh. I mean, <laughs> to some of them, uh, that was the first time in fact they had such a portfolio. So I said, wow, you know, uh, this is a glorifying moment and it's going to be a meaningful session down here. Lena was around. She's a professional photographer in the country. So I said, Lena Nyan will be the, the director of media, style and branding. And I also brought in the portfolio of a road manager, three media officers, media officer one, media officer two and three. Right. The backup DJ mm -hmm. for Nyancho. Of course, uh, Far Funding has been uh, the most loyal uh, friend of Nyancho, also his earlier team contemporary. I said, if there will be any backup DJ, of course, it should be Far Funding. Mm -hmm. you know, because I met Nyancho and his team. Mm -hmm. So we went through and perused very well, huh? mm -hmm. the portfolios that I've created because this is D-Jobs management yeah. and I saw all the portfolios to Nyanchu and in fact the responsibilities of the different portfolio holders because we want to know who is who if you are to come as the lead dancer and choreographer what are your responsibilities <laughs> it should be spelled out yeah. so I captured these responsibilities in the contract due cognizant of the fact that I found Nyancho with his team, but then 
I did not sign any contract with anybody apart from Nyancho, a.k.a. Apataki. Okay, you signed yeah. contract with Nyancho. Nyancho, yes. So let's discuss the content of that uh, contract. That's right. Okay, tell us what is in that contract. Just just the key issues. The, the key issues. Like uh, how many percent goes to you, Nyancho, the, the, the ban, and, 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 and so on. Uh, that, that's right. Uh, okay. The contract has two types of sears. Okay. Minor sears mm -hmm. and major sears. Okay. Minor sears are those sears that we usually receive mm -hmm. after performances. Okay. Um, how do we receive those sears? Mm -hmm. When even organizers want to contract Nyancho, mm -hmm. we go on partial payments okay. as per the contract document. Mm -hmm. And this is a document that I also develop. So we have different categories, you know, uh, you know, as per the different events. Because in giving event organizers and promoters your services, mm -hmm. I also consider what we call mechanical and performance-based copyrights. Okay. Now, there comes the minor sears from the down payments of the program organizers or promoters. Mm -hmm. Those minor sears, if you go to so, you get your sear. If you don't go to so, you don't get your sear. So um, these are sears that we also share based on hierarchy of responsibility. Okay. You know, I want you to come to the level of the listeners here. Oh. Oh. So in a very simple terms, mm -hmm. for example, you have an event and you agree on, uh, like you talk about the sales and there, there is terms and conditions. Yeah. You have an event and you're going to, uh, after the event, what, how much goes to ST, uh, excuse me, um, Nyancho and how much goes to um, D jobs and, 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 the, and the band itself uh, or, or the management? That's right. Yeah. 40% uh, so. goes to Nyancho and 60% goes to the management because of the numerous portfolios that we have created. 40, okay. Yeah, 40% goes to Nyanjo. Okay. And 60% goes to the the management. So the management, how much goes to D-Jobs? Well, I would say 20% goes to D-Jobs. You know, because there are other team members. Okay. But then, uh, specifically, there is no indication of a particular percentage. You know, because of the different type of CS that I mentioned here. I said okay, major okay. CS. Yeah, I am coming. I, you know, I am talking about the minor CS. Minus, okay. Yeah, the minor CS. 40% um, goes to Nyancho and then 60% goes to Dijavs. Mm -hmm. But then minor CS are also based on outputs, based on availability in terms of works. Now, the major CR here mm -hmm. is where uh, more money comes in. That is the endorsement deals that Dijavs, you know, had lobbied for Nyancho. Okay. Anytime I bring in contract, it should be 50-50. Okay. Any endorsement deal that I bring in for Nyancho, I should have 50 and Nyancho have 50. Okay, for example, yeah. Yeah. D-Jobs comes to Omar Wali and said, I want you to, we are doing this thing, I want you to put your money there. I give 100 dollars in. So 50 goes to you and 50 goes to Nyancho. Yes. But how about, um, some people approach you and said, okay, we want you to do um, a fundraising for us. Mm -hmm. And they pay $100. Mm -hmm. How much goes to D-Jobs and how much goes to Nyancho or the management? Well, 60 goes to the management and 40 goes to Nyancho. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So how do you sp split that money? So you get your payment in that. The dancers get their payments. payment. Yeah, from the 60%. So do you have specific um, kind of amount which, is, which goes to you like... $10 or another $20 goes to the management or because the band need money? Or the, yeah, 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 that, so that, that, that's how, right. Can you dissect yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, uh, by dissecting, mm -hmm. there is a percentage that we also save. Okay, how much do you know? That is 30%. 30%? Yeah, exactly. You so, know, for, for, the, for the band. Okay. Out of the 60%. Yeah. Okay. So, um, whatever amount that is left for us to share, mm -hmm. we always share it due cognizant of the hierarchy of responsibilities or hierarchy of you know, I'm um, seniority because in the business also, mm -hmm. after Nyancho being the CEO, it is me, yeah. the head of the, 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 the business. Right. Yeah. So Nyancho gets the lion's share. Yeah. From there, D Jobs get his own. Yeah. So let's talk about last week incident. That's right. So we, we had you, we were taken to the police and yeah. so many other things. And so many events came, like there were so many allegations that That's you normally right. take money in his behalf without notifying him and so on. Tell yeah. us about because there are so many claims here. Yeah. The $25,000 say we will mm. come to that, mm. the, the 50 sisters or so, mm. and the, the Cambodia thing and so on. But yes, what, right. what, what really happened? Uh, side, Umar, we, it all happened on the, on the 6th of May, when mm. we are coming, we are coming from Jambanjiri. Okay. 
on a program after receiving our seer. It was a 50-50 share that we had with Kisima, and we were able to go home with $25,000 after Kisima's share. So I said, okay, I would suggest for us to share 10000 and then save the 15000 in, in, in at, at the bank because we have so many overheads mm -hmm. before the event. And I know all these overheads, uh, we should be committed to it. Particularly me, I should always remind yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the team about the yeah, overheads, yeah. you know. So um, I said, that's what I suggest. And I just said, no, bro, I think we should share 15000 and then save 10000 I said, okay, that is fine. He said, because... Uh, this is quality moments, mm -hmm. you know, the quality wave. I feel we've been sitting for so long without having a program because of the Ramadan, mm -hmm. which is very understandable. So I said, okay. So the money was given to Far Funding, who is the backup DJ for Nyancho, mm -hmm. you know, for uh, him to share. So um, during that sharing process, I put to Far Funding's notice that um, I would like us to consider the hierarchy of responsibilities whenever we are sharing monies. Okay. Uh, because if you are the general manager for Nyancho Apataki Entertainment Company, and if you are Nyancho, the main artist, your shares should not be equal with the rest of the subordinates. Right. Because we have our different responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And if you look at uh, the, the contract document, administratively, you know, here I want people to listen very well. Okay. I have more responsibilities mm -hmm. than anybody in the business but again it is my responsibility i accepted that you know as per the contract that we signed okay. as per this document so i said we should consider the hierarchy of sears okay Fafani said no you know bro uh, it doesn't mean i don't want to consider it i said no i you know over the years or months i have been seeing how we have been sharing yeah. it is true that nyancho sometimes you know, we would get, we prefer to get lesser share and give it to the dancers. Myself, I have done a lot of those things, you know, yes. Wherein you will say, you know, let the subordinates take and then we will sacrifice and then go home with nothing. Yeah. What I want you to do, I just want, um, I just want you to be precise on some of these things. That's right. We're, we're talking about the allegations of last week. Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming to. I'm coming there. Where okay. it all started. Yeah, it all started. Like, okay, yeah. that's yeah. fine. Yeah. You can, so the, the, yeah. the, let's, let's talk about the 25,000 okay yeah. you continue from where yeah you please yeah. so you know when we had that little field mm -hmm. far funding went home and realized what they just said is true yeah. and i also reminded them that we have a contract and in the contract uh, the senior management mm -hmm. is the decision body okay. decision making body uh, the dj is not part of the senior management but with all due respect i consider the earlier team contemporary history of Nyancho and Fafande. And I asked, you know, since I came to this, that, this team, I, there is no single day that I said, Nyancho, I want you to part with Fafande. Or I want you to part with Sayo. Or I want you to turn your back from your family. But then, in terms of job, professionalism should manifest. This is this was what I put to Fafande. And he, on text, he apologized. He said, bro, I understand everything that you said. Um, I will not come there now. I will never share the monies because it's not my responsibility to share monies. So I said, I said, okay, it's okay. I just want to remind you. Yeah. Now, this was on Friday. On Saturday, Nyancho declared after our Brikama performance that he want us to have a meeting. Uh, and then, you know, we call these meetings technical meetings. Okay. In back, I said, no problem. And then it was communicated to the team that we would have a meeting. So we went to back out. Uh, Nyancho, just to be brief about it, mm -hmm brought in issues and said uh, they want us to recheck the contract document that I've signed with them. Okay. The Nyancho Apataki Entertainment Company, um, he want to reject that company philosophy. That is what he said. He stated like this, that I want to reject the company ideology. Okay. And, you know, um, as for my discussion with Fafandin, there also Fafandin came to say, uh, I think we should bring in an independent lawyer mm -hmm. to prepare a contract document for us, a contract document that will favor everybody. So there in, uh, the logic here is, I mean, it's common sense mm -hmm. that if, uh, when people call you to say, okay, we want another contract different from your contract, mm -hmm. then that is first point of, you know, um, a problem, right. you know, or first point of feud, I will call it, you know, because they are, they are saying uh, technically that they don't 
want your contract or they want your contract to be nullified mm -hmm. as per the indications. So this was yeah. after the event in Combo, after around Combo, yeah, after Jambanjali Jamban event. Jamban event. Yeah. event. Yeah. So what what eventually happened? Uh, there, yeah. Nyancho enumerated uh, the booking issue yeah. and the lack of transparency in the team. Mm -hmm. And there he talked about the orthodoxy, the general belief in the team. Because uh, one thing that I also want to highlight here is it has never been an orthodoxy or a culture in Nyancho's team for the rest of the subordinates to be informed about the monies that have been coming or they are coming. The okay. only thing they rely on is their pace, as per the minor and the major contract. So who are, who are the people who are normally informed about that? Yes, it's myself mm -hmm. and Nyanjo. How many accounts and do you have? We have only one music business account. How many signatories? Mm, two signatories, myself and Nyanjo. Are the signatories? To the corporate account because here okay. one thing that should be clear is mm -hmm. i and nyancho have an account called corporate account what is a corporate account you are educated you know very well it is an account that is managed by two or more than two people because they are they are telling you logically yeah. that it is an account that belongs to a particular organization right yeah or a company so um, logically it is also saying that d jobs alone cannot go to that account and withdraw money without Nyancho's consent. Anything that has to be done has to be a general consensus. So do you have a ATM card? Like, Very good. Yes, okay. Okay. we have an ATM card. Mm -hmm. who is and in, Nyancho, who is, who is in, who is he in? is the custodian of the ATM card. The ATM card mm -hmm. has never been uh, uh, with D-Jobs. Okay. I have never handled that ATM card. From the very day that they issued the ATM card to us from GT Bank, mm -hmm. it has been with Nyancho. And the, the SMS alert that we usually get after transactions mm -hmm. goes to whose phone? Your phone? It, it goes to Nyancho's phone. Okay. The, ATM, the, the, the SMS alert always goes to Nyancho's phone. Okay. Whenever there is any transaction, they alert that particular number. Okay. Yeah. So those other payments come through without uh, going through the account? Like, do you receive payments without going through the account? Yeah, that, that is why here mm -hmm. there has to be what we call site attractions. Most Gambians are very impatient. I'm seeing the comments. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm seeing the comments. Uh, yeah. You know, we have what we call in business management prerequisites to a particular issue or problem or a particular development. No, I'm telling you. I mean, we have to talk about the prerequisites. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> you know, Sorry, yeah. people are impatient. They, they will come there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they don't have to be impatient. I, I mean, you cannot jump in okay. uh, and, and get, get, get yeah, yeah, into yeah. issues okay, people, like that. Yeah, so, so yeah. continue from there. Exactly. Payments that no. do not go through the account. Yes. But they come physical and like... Exactly. Like I am of. coming to the issue of payments. Okay. Uh, before the bank issue came in right the business account issue was my idea mm -hmm. because when i came in the first thing that i asked Joe was mm -hmm. have you ever gotten a business account yeah. and he said no i got my personal account but we have never gotten a business account okay. since nyancho started his career as an artist i said wow uh, mm -hmm. that is not a development mm -hmm. but then I mean, it's my responsibility also to let them know that we you need. You cannot be in such a business without a business account. So that's so right. okay. That we money. open up the account. Okay. okay. And then payments were going to an account officer that I first brought in. Mm -hmm. She's not in town now. Anybody that wants to pay, you you go straight to that account officer and pay there. Mm -hmm. um, she went out of the country and never mm -hmm. came back. The the some few money, some few book, bookings you know were given to me i think i it was this was some two three occasions okay. and then nyancho called a meeting to say uh, look d jobs i want to suggest this was the first meeting that we had at senior management level mm -hmm. it was not at general management level at that meeting it was myself far funding lena and sadio mm -hmm. nyancho said uh, i want me and you to distance ourselves totally from monetary issues i want payments to be given to sadio Nyancho came up with that recommendation. So that was after you received no, no. Okay. Yes. two or three payments. E exactly. And exactly. What, what, how much was involved in this? Do you remember? Well, I think this total? was, uh, I mean, this was a down payment that I received from UDP okay. uh, and first payment that I received from them. This was after the independent stadium, you know, uh, uh, payments. And then, you know, uh, there was this talks around, yeah. you know, whatever amount that we got from UDP and the amounts that were coming, yeah. you know, for them to be so much transparent. Yeah. And then Nyancho said, okay, I don't want, you know, I don't want all these 
minor complaints, you mm -hmm. know, here and there. And mm -hmm. I want us to, because me and you, mm -hmm. we are the leaders of the business. Right. So I want us to be organized here. Now that we don't have the account officer around, you know, I think I would suggest Sergio to be the account officer at, at senior management level. Okay. So I, I said, okay, no problem. So we started giving monies to Sergio. Yeah. Right, I be here with me. We started yeah. no, giving no, money no. to Sarge. I just want to quench my. Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I also want to do the same thing. Uh, yes, Sonny Banjo. That's right. Right. Continue. So we started giving monies to Sarge. Mm -hmm. We understand the business nature of Sarge because devoid of Nyancho's business, Sarge also have his private business. You know, Sarge salon, and usually. Yeah. Um, he is not so much smart around going to bank. You know, he keeps monies with him, you know, for so many weeks and months without going to the going to bank. In fact, basically, has been his problem, uh, which I meant to understand, and we also established that reality in Sadio. So, so, so let, yeah. let's let's come back to the whole issue. Yeah, the you bank issue still. Okay, the I bank want you to be here with me. Okay, yeah, the yeah, reason yeah. why yeah. I brought in the bank issue, mm -hmm. Omar, was yeah. there was this particular amount of money. How much? That that How gone much? because we, that, I want us to be transparent. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. If I, I you am. Don't mind, you can just yes. Yeah. I didn't think this was over forty thousand. Okay, that got lost. Uh, you know, with, with Sajo. In fact, that incident mm -hmm. happened in the presence of Nyancho himself, his spouse, uh, uh, the bride stars. Right. You know, Asan, Bubakar, and Yafa were there because this was uh, during their uh, the, the, the preparatory stage ahead of their launch event. Yeah. We were at Taras, you know, home okay. somewhere in Serekunda, London corner, rehearsing. Sadio came inside to say he came and parked his vehicle and somebody tamper, you know, his vehicle and took the monies. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, we came out and then realized, okay, that is what happened. Others were saying different story, different from what Sadio narrated. But then my interest wasn't at what went missing. You know, I said, okay, over 40,000 is huge. Mm -hmm. And this is something that we, in fact, never reveal right. to the rest of the subordinates. Right. This was between myself, Sadio and Nyancho. But then I said, mm -hmm. because, you know, when problems happen, Umar Wali, before you talk around and about the problems, come up with solutions okay. to remedy. I am coming here, please. Okay. You know, here, yeah. in most cases, mm -hmm. Gambians are not interested in solutions. They are interested in dissolutions. There I said, look, I don't want us to go around how it happened to blame Sadio. I want payments now to be directed to our account. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's the best thing a leader would do. I told you, no, let's go, I mean, let's forget about the blame games. This money went missing. Let's go now, you know, let's change the, 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 the ways of payment. Mm -hmm. Let's engage the music, uh, the, the event organizers and promoters to be paying to our account. Yeah. That's how the bank issue came. Because already we have, you know, a music business account. People can pay to the account. So now we, we establish that reality that anybody that wants Nancho for a performance, mm -hmm. I will give you your account number, you go and pay to the bank. Okay. Yeah, but then it used to be, okay, I receive, somebody else receive and then go deposit to the bank. But now they can pay to the bank so that... Our monies will not get missing, you know. I, okay, yeah. okay. So now you tell me. You said you received a couple of payments, like forty thousand, because this is part of. No, the, no, no, no. Okay, like no, if you, I didn't if you, say forty thousand. Kind I of, said. if you put everything together, so nearly forty thousand. Yeah, yeah. Like the down, payment the down payment of ten, and then the twenty-five thousand. You know, yeah. Okay, let's talk about the fifty yeah. sisters here, Isu. Yeah. That was what you just talked about briefly. That's right. What happened with that? Those fifty sisters, Isu. Very good. Yeah. Here again, mm -hmm. I would definitely want you to be patient. <laughs> you know, only followers, please. So I want you to be yeah, precise, please. Because yeah, yeah, I can be because we, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I can definitely be precise. But yeah. then, like I said, Umar, I also have my philosophies no around issues like this. That's fine. You know, yeah, uh, and then you know, I definitely have to consider the prerequisites. Okay, right, right, right. Fifty sisters, I came to realize their existence through Muhammad Dabo. Uh, this was around Westfield. It was shortly after my event. So let me interrupt you here. I just wanted to go to the... Yeah, I yeah. know you, somebody, there, there are connections. You will get yeah, you know, exactly. contacts and so on. But they, they, they had, there is this program that they right. had with a particular artist that they contacted. Mm -hmm. This was around, uh, shortly before the COVID lockdown. You know, right. yeah, sometime in February uh, 2020. Mm -hmm. So um, they contacted that artist for a performance. So I came to, you know, meet up with them through Mohammed. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I saw the transaction that was happening around Westfield. Yeah. So, Mohammed was the one who told me, bro, you know, hence you are with your vehicle, mm -hmm. you know, the Mercedes Benz, the Dijon's one at the time. I want you to give us a ride to Gun Music House. Mm -hmm. Okay, there I saw these two sisters, okay. Banna, Conte, and Natoma. 
they came Mohamed told okay this is the jobs you know he is the uh, uh, operations manager for Joel of Arts, yeah. managing a lot of artists, ST's former manager, he built ST and all these things. So we went to the music house with them. Okay, they had a contract with that, that, that particular artist and then it never materialized. happened. Yeah, okay. It never materialized. Mm -hmm. But before then, when I had that little transaction with them, you know, that little engagement, they liked, you know, me and said to Mohammed, this guy is very kind because, you know, he gave us the right and he also dropped us off. You know, to where we were going to take the vehicle and then go home. And they said, DJs, if we want to do this program, definitely we want you to come. We want you to be part of the team. And then I helped the 50 sisters, two of these, you know, their members, Banna and, and Natoma, to distribute the endorsement letters to the various companies in this country yeah. with my vehicle. So now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So okay, that's now, how. After, every, after yeah. all that. Yeah. What end up happening? Did they very good? They want you to perform for them. They, no, did they pay no. money or what happened? Yeah, there comes mm -hmm. the higher pro high profile association. Okay. This business. Mm -hmm. Let's put it down. Yes, exactly. Right. This business. Okay. Yeah. High profile association. Okay. High profile. Okay. Association. Yeah. Incorporated under the companies. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Right. Good. This business started. Mm -hmm. The name started with HPM, High Profile Movement. Okay. My, my earlier team contemporaries in Brikama would tell you that high profile movement was established way back in 2007. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, I, I use it as precision and pre empowerment. Let, let me bring yeah. the precision. Fine. Good. So, okay. so we, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I, I hooked up with 50 Sisters based on this reality. Okay. My personal business, my brand mm -hmm. as D Jobs, okay. as a music business consultant. Mm -hmm. Not DJs as Nancho's manager, not okay. DJs as you know, a PRO uh, in GPPA, DJs as a music business consultant. Now they came to me after the COVID lockdown. Okay, after my first service, my first voluntary service okay. uh, that is the distribution of the different letters, the different endorsement letters. In fact, these were letters that I redo because I understand very well they did not have the natural content of endorsement letters right. so i did all these things for 50 sisters they came to say uh, brother we want to go with you but we want to uh, request mm -hmm. for our monies the money that we paid the first artist because they contracted this artist and he was not able to perform for them muhammad dabo knows exactly what i'm talking about okay yeah the way they contacted that artist was the same way they contacted muhammad and you know i beg your pardon i want to uh, uh that's, that's fine yes i want to uh, no, clarity, ask clarity, for exactly clarity. the forgivenesses of Ali Wali oh. and Mohammed for mentioning their name because you know we studied yeah, no. business communication we know sensitivity of media uh, I want them to be here with me you know it's because of explanations so now yeah because that that that, that force musician did not perform did, did not perform and then they they, they approach you they, they approach me for me to facilitate fac okay facilitate another contract you know f uh, between them and another artist okay yes so there comes my capacity as a music business consultant and i don't want people to rush here i don't want you to rush i want you to to be honest oh, come yeah, on. I, 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 I am because yeah, you know yeah, what yeah we have so many things to discuss well that's i, I if i would uh, advise okay, you that's fine yeah i am coming if yeah. i would advise you right i would advise you to be uh, this to be on two folds part one part and two. part two no to be honest no no, yeah, no, no. i don't want to i will be very honest to no, you no, that's fine yeah let's, i don't want to, i don't want to rush yeah. yeah to be honest i okay. want to be i am very comfortable around this discussion okay and i want to take my time you understand? Fair enough. Yes. Carry on. <laughs> Please. Okay. So uh, that's how they came to me. Okay. In fact, the first favor that they asked of me mm -hmm. was for me to help them so that they can get to that artist manager okay. for them to give back their money. money. Okay. Now that the artist is very busy for them and he cannot perform for them, which is very understandable. Mm -hmm. They want their monies, you know, to be given back to them from mm -hmm. that particular artist. Mm -hmm. And then these two consultants who were also contacted for PR matters. I want them to listen here. Okay. Who are those people? There comes Mohammed, who in fact related me to 50 sisters. Mohammed Dabo mm -hmm. and Ali Wali, who was also engaged, mm -hmm. which is very normal, as a contractor in the business. So they said they want their monies. Yeah. Now that you know they cannot have whatever even with that artist. I said, okay, one thing that I will do, I will facilitate to get to that artist through people that are so much closer to that artist now yeah. uh, because he is a brother but we don't have any coded rela relationship in terms of work terms mm -hmm. so i cannot get down there but then i can relate you to somebody who can help you right. get your money mm -hmm. 
and that's exactly what I did. Modlamin Kambi, mm. if he's watching, mm. he can attest to this fact. Okay. When this woman got pissed and impatient, mm -hmm. when they called me, this was when I was in an escapade with one of my Christian friends mm. in Bijilo. They called me to say, look, DJs, we are very impatient and we want to take this matter to police. Mm -hmm. Modlamin was the one that I called. I told him, whatever you are doing, I want you to leave it. I want you to get to this particular artist. Because I know you are so much closer to his manager. Call him now to say, these people, they want their money back. Because I don't want it to get to that level. Umar, if I am an agent implant of instability, if I am a bad individual in this industry, I would not have facilitated for that to happen. I facilitated that happen. And this woman still, because of my gesture, because of my goodwill, my approachability, they said, look, this is why at onset we said, we must be with you in this. Now we want you to facilitate and bring in for us Jezol mm -hmm. and any other artist that you think can be part of this event. And I said, attack. They put the same thing to Mohammed, okay. you know, and then, you know, we were talking around that. They said, whatever that we want for you, we want to give you, right. we will give you after the event. But now you have to help that this issue, you have to help, help us that this issue is over one year. Okay. And we definitely want to do this program. Uh, we belong to a group we are the leaders and they have been following us up regarding this fundraising event. And one thing also that I want to clarify, mm -hmm. these 50 sisters, they are not gender and jai. Okay. You know, as we heard it from uh, uh, the, 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 the theater aspect okay. of things, you know, when, you know, the greatest drama has been acted, okay. they are people that go to Senegal, yeah, yeah. get fabrics, African fabrics, mm -hmm. and then, you know, s sell out to the masses. So they so, put this to me. I said, okay, no problem. Cut the long story yeah. short. All that happened, Mola intervened. Yeah. Uh, what end up? Did you retrieve money from that gentleman? Yes, man? I, 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 no. Yeah, okay. What happened? Mola facilitated, and then we, you know, their monies were given. Mola facilitated. Mola can be facilitated. Okay. Mola can be yeah, facilitated. They, yeah, and they, the money was given to 50 sisters. Yes, the money was given to them. So eventually, what happened? What happened was my service now mm -hmm. as a music business consultant. Okay. My service, as in how? Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. establishment of contact with Jizzle, mm -hmm. Attacked, mm -hmm. and Jalinaya. Mm -hmm. These were the three artists that you know they, they first one you know, yeah, exactly put forward okay i brought in the issue of nyancho mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. yeah. i also have to consider the interest aspect of things Absolutely. i am managing nyancho and if people want to contact me for my service mm -hmm. as a music business consultant i should also factor the issue of my artist Absolutely. so i was the one that suggested <laughs> nyancho to them okay you in see, fact yeah. yeah that was the first time that in fact they heard that oh i am nyancho's manager i said yes you know, I sign up contact with him after Joel of Art. So yeah. they said, okay, it's fine. You know, we can also have site attractions. Mm -hmm. You know, so we brought in, that brought in the issue of Nyancho. Mm -hmm. Now they came to my first resident in Tabokoto. Mm -hmm. You know, my family resident, my sister's resident. And contacted me as a music business consultant. For me to facilitate yeah. the contract establishment of 50 sisters. Mm -hmm. We, and Jizzle, yeah. Attack, Janinaya, and Nyancho. Okay. How do I facilitate this? Mm -hmm. I should call to these artists. Yeah. Now the service, I want you to be here with me. Yes, I My am. service mm -hmm. is to call okay. these artists and inform them about 50 sisters interests. So now you are, in, not, in you, are, you are not acting as a manager here, but as a business, music, music business, business consultant, consultant under the auspices of high profile, uh, high profile association. I beg your pardon. That's fine. Yes, high profile yeah. association. Right. There comes high, uh, high profile music business consultancy yeah okay. now i am acting as okay. a music acting. business consultant so yes yeah. i okay. wanted to be clear fine yeah continue yes so, so from there yeah from there mm -hmm. they came in to say how much is your pay i said well for you people you will not be able to pay me because i know your shortcomings mm -hmm. <laughs> my pay for this service would be one hundred thousand dollars okay. but for you people i will make it twenty five thousand okay. because i know you've definitely uh, um struggle a lot in making sure that you know this pro problem happened you know your predicament and all these things i will make it twenty five thousand for you because okay. i want to help okay. and they cheer up they like that okay. you know they 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 they, they, they pray sank me you know and all these things i said okay they they they, they paid yeah. for the facilitation okay. for my services okay yeah so twenty five thousand for yes, your services for my services so yes. so then mm -hmm. i began all right my work for them mm -hmm. first i call jesus former manager Okay. and explain their predicament first because what they want me to do mm -hmm. is to facilitate audience 
between them and Jizul so that they can explain to him their predicament. Right. So they want Jizul yeah. to grant them audience for them to be reasonable in their pay. So I called the former manager, I told him all these things. He said, bro, mm -hmm. we, are, we may be very busy. I mean, what I want to establish here, how are we going to go about the business? I said, we want Jizul. And then he told me two times or three times more than what is the actual budget of the ladies. So, <laughs> so, 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 yeah. so along the way, yeah. Jizul, Jalnaya, and so on. So you, yeah. you, they finally settled for Nyancho, if yeah, I understand. Yeah, right. yeah, no, no, no. Okay. No, they did not settle. Okay. They paid for my services. Oh, my. No, 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 no. Yeah. What I mean, I understand that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. So what, what, and what happened after all the Jal, um, Jizul and others? Yeah, so they couldn't have Jizul. They couldn't have Jizul. Yeah, please. They couldn't have who else? Yeah, uh, yeah. I called Attack. Okay. They were going to have Attack. Okay. Were it not for the Omale so? Okay. Because Attack was contracted for that so. Okay. And I also overheard mm -hmm. that the contractors did not want any event to preoccupy the Omale, yeah. meaning yeah. they don't want attack to showcase it. Any event that is closer to the Omale. Yeah. Okay. okay, even if it is not based on that reality. Yeah. The other thing is, mm -hmm. as a music businessman, I also have to advise them. Yeah. Because I know the Omale was coming, mm -hmm. I told them, look, I will not advise you now to go ahead with this yeah. event yeah. until after Omale. Right. Because I know the Gambian nature around foreign events. I have to be honest here. Absolutely. So by expertise, obviously, yeah. it's not only about the money, but then yeah. about the, the, the contract, about uh, the profitability. Yeah, of, yeah. yeah, so I had to advise them to postpone the event. Okay. And I am going to help them do that. Because I know Attack was going to perform for Omale. And they said, no, 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 you know, this thing for far too long, we couldn't have this. We just want to go ahead with this event. They just, please, we beg your pardon. Let's go ahead with the event. Eventually. Eventually, mm -hmm. I also got occupied. Because we also had an event that was coming in Brikama, the Exodus Captivity, the first event that we were staging for Nyancho. Okay. And so many other preoccupied, you know, minor contracts that I also had. Okay. But most importantly, I want this to be clear, mm -hmm. the Omale So, mm -hmm. I don't want their Serakunda West event mm -hmm. to be preoccupied by the Omale So, or mm -hmm. for the event to preoccupy the Omale So. Because if it should happen that way, their event is going, not going to be successful. So how did Nyancho came all into all these things? Very good. There was a misinformation. And they said a man who is misinformed is deformed. Mm -hmm. What was the misinformation? Yeah. The ladies, because I couldn't deliver my services to them, based on the expertise, based on the advice that I advised them, okay. they also pursued that. Hence, I, I did not give them, you know, their service. It's very, very normal. They requested me to refund their monies, just like how they requested other consultants to refund their monies. They said, I am coming, Omar, please. I, I'm not yeah, yeah, I'm coming. So, <laughs> you know what happened? You know, no. I understand. Yeah. I just want to make it. So, okay, that money is yeah. not for Nyanto. It's, it's not for Nyanto, it's for me, yeah. That's what I want to clarify. Yes, exactly, yeah. Okay. But then the prerequisites, Umar, oh, okay. <laughs> again, please, I beg you, please. <laughs> no problem, you can take some water. Okay, yeah. so the money that was paid to you, the 25000 yeah. yeah, was for the facilitation of That's the establishment of a contract between Nyancho, between Nyancho and these other the artists, artists and the 50 sisters. They, you they're supposed to pay 100000 Yes. You, you, is it because of the yes, you know, situation, you said they should pay 25000 yes. So, okay, so after mm. you were preoccupied with certain things, yes. you could not deliver on time. Exactly. And they also requested to refund that money. Money, yes. Okay, continue. Yeah. So... Here in here out, mm -hmm. we all know the nature of music businessmen. Yeah. We are the most busy people in any country, okay. be it Gambia, Nigeria, and elsewhere. Ask anybody, artists, yeah. their managers, and yeah. promoters. Yeah. So, I got occupied with other issues, <laughs> with other activities. So, I couldn't do that at the time they wanted, and they got impatient and took the matter to police. Very normal. Did you did you t did you settle for any musician at the time, a singer that will perform for them? No, I I couldn't. Because of my advice, and they had to go with oh boy, because there is this whatever relationship according to Banna Conte and Conte, mm -hmm. oh boy wanted to do it free. So by that, you know, the cost will be saved because they are not going to pay according yeah. to what they told me. Right. Oh boy want to perform for them for gratis until after the event. So what? Which, which means because of their inability mm -hmm. to bring out more monies for the event, because we all know that even organization is not easy. Because of their inability to bring up more monies, they decided to go with oh boy, and they explained this to me. Njundu Baji is my witness to this. So what was the time frame when they approached you until the time they were requesting their money back? Well, mm -hmm. I mean, I would say two or three months. Three months. I couldn't deliver my services. And even after their event, they told me, okay, we couldn't even go ahead with the event, mm -hmm. you know, because of all these shortcomings. Now we want our monies back. 
Okay. And I remember when the lady even told me that they want to uh, uh, forward the matter to Ibrahim Ajara mm -hmm. at King FM for him to enumerate all those people mm -hmm. that should refund their monies. I want here to be clear. Meaning, all right. there were other consultants, you know, dealing with them. But again, mm -hmm. Umar, mm -hmm. you cannot definitely blame any of us. It is very true that my inability to deliver um, is something that is considerable. And in the event I was not able to deliver, yeah. until they requested their money, their money should be refunded to them, which I understand. Mm -hmm. They got impatient because they couldn't get hold of me because of busy schedules. Mm -hmm. And when I got to the station on that fateful day, this was exactly what I told the officers. So who and they gave me, no, let me oh, learn, okay, please. Okay, okay. And they said, we want clarifications. Right. I narrated everything to them. The information got to Nyancho and his team okay. that I am in this little misunderstanding with these people. Okay. Nyancho and his team mm -hmm. had to find out the numbers of these people and they called them. They narrated their stories to them. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand here that there is little iota of lack of education and understanding because the women, uh, like I said, I mean, the, uh, they are, I will not call them indigenous per se, but then they are local women who don't have any iota of understanding in music business. So they wouldn't even know who is a music business consultant? For them, the 25,000 that they had given me yeah. would be able to bring all the artists that they want to be brought for their event. So, so when I got to the station, I clarified, I said... So who took you to police? Well, the ladies took you to police. Okay, which police? What, what police? Vigilo police. Oh, Vigilo. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Bruce, Bruce B. B. Police Station. Here. Okay, okay. And then they called. <laughs> I mean, for my side of the story. And yeah. I explained everything to them. Mm -hmm. I told the ladies, look... Maybe you don't know the term or the functions of a music businessman. <laughs> you thought I was performing a managerial duty okay. for Nyancho. I wasn't. So there was a misconception or misunderstanding. A misunderstanding here. of the D jobs in his capacity as a music, music business, business consultant, consultant yes. and um, D jobs as a um, artist manager, manager, artist yeah, manager. Yeah. Yeah. or a state man. Okay. Yes. So, yeah. but for them, they took the matter to. Uh, police, police because yeah. they were treating your case in their in your capacity yes. as a manager a manager exactly okay exactly. but did you also make clear to them that very uh, well clear bro very well clear that is why i am trying to you know deliberate and people should be very much patient with these articulations umar i am not going to rush anything i will tell you the fact <laughs> not no, to be honest no but now you want to police now you want yeah exactly there will be part two for this i will not uh, rush i know no, uh, no, yeah, no worries. yeah please uh, have, yeah. Uh, yeah. there are people who wanted to give me yeah. five hours for me to talk about this but I did not give them because I have, I was looking for a reputable platform. Right. This is a reputable platform. Yeah, that is why absolutely. I don't just want to give it to, I, I you know, know, whoever. And I appreciate it. Yeah, that. please. Yeah, Thank please. You. Yeah, continue. So, so, so now, there... Nyancho find... Yeah. They, 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 look in fact, before I read there, mm -hmm. I found Nyancho and his team. Okay. So they explained to me how they got the information. Okay. But it was never 50 sisters taking Nyancho to the police station. Yeah. They did not take him to the police station. They took D jobs in his capacity as a music business consultant yeah. to the police station for their monies to be refunded. Right. I wanted to be clear. Okay. Now, when they got there, when they got the information, okay. what I expected Nancho mm -hmm. to have done would have been mm -hmm. to reach out to me to say, bro, I got this information. This and this is what happened. Mm -hmm. How did it happen? Mm -hmm. But they should not be part of an appointment with 50 sisters only to get to the police station with them okay. in an unforeseen you know, to just to amass whatever, like I would put it, apocalyptic situation. <laughs> yeah, but no, I mean, <laughs> because when we got to that place, and that's exactly what happened. Right. So we got there, I explained to the police, they understand and said, oh, <laughs> Nanjo, this is not your case, it's his case. Yeah. So he should be responsible for the refund of that money. We established that truth. So? And we rule out, please, let me learn, Omar. Okay, okay, okay. We rule out to say, this money got to... Dijabs, yeah. in his capacity as a music business consultant, mm -hmm. not in his capacity as Nyancho's manager. Okay. Now, that is clear. Nyancho and his team marched out mm -hmm. of the police station and they went out. You know, so they went home. So they went home. Yes. So you were so, kept there? Yes. No, 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 no. Okay. We just discussed and they, you know, I told the ladies, look, you know, in the next whatever market days, I will get you your money. Okay. Yeah, I went home. So yeah. you, you spend the night at the police? No, I did not. That is not this issue, Umar. I was talking about the first brutal. Oh, okay. Issue. So okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the same event where the. It's different with this other case in Bruce oh, B. That's okay. why different I said. From, okay. Yeah, please. That, that, continue. Yeah, continue. I am okay, coming continue. to. I am okay. coming to this, Umar. Fine. You Let's know, continue. The thing is. Yeah. Please, I beg you, and I want to beg your audience. If you want to no. rush it, no, no, no I, please. No, that's fine. Yeah, let me learn. If you want to rush it, 
I will definitely miss out and I don't want to miss no, you any iota of issue in this thing. Please. <laughs> Fine. If okay. there can be any part two, please let's arrange we, for a part we, two. We, we will. But yeah, okay, please, continue please. Yeah, and I will encourage because I have other activities. You okay. know, I will encourage yeah. and then, you know, I, I want to appeal for us to have part two. Right. Now there, no, that was yeah. the first scene yeah. between me and 50 sisters. Okay. My capacity as a music businessman and my capacity as Nyanchos manager, these are two different things. Okay. So now that issue was addressed, yeah. um, you, you went home, you, you, you told them in few market days their money will be refunded. Very good. And uh, eventually yeah. all of you went home. Yeah. What happened again? Yeah. What, what happened, happened next, next yeah. was yeah. to mitigate okay. around the problem. Like mm -hmm. I said, yeah. uh, you know, there is one thing that is also the case in this country. Okay. Gambians, I said it before. Resolutions, no. The solutions, yes, that's the nature of Gambians, perceptual bias, and all these things. If you feel that you know too much, or you know too much, you know, okay, DJF's is experienced, he's knowledgeable, and all these things, you become a major problem or a competitor to somebody else that you don't even know. Mm -hmm. Umar, all my operations over the years has been based on books and experience. What I learned on books, I read conflict resolution, dissolutions. Now, I 